Welcome back to Beeline's Blueprint. Hey, it's tournament week. And one of the special memories I had coaching at Michigan was our Big Ten Tournament Championship in 2018 in Madison Square Garden. University of Michigan and all their, their great supporters, we took over New York City and the Garden for a special four days and four wins. We finished fifth in the league, tied for fourth, lost a tiebreaker to Nebraska badly during the season. And now we had to play a really tough schedule to win that championship. We had a great weekend. We played great basketball. What a memory. In this particular action, we just run a little ball screen with a punch. We're going to go with the ball screen, throw it back to the rise up, the shake guy. When you hit the shake guy, it's an entry pass into Mo Wagner with a basket cut by Charles. That's going to draw his man away from the double team, Luca Garza. And he's going to go with the Chris Weber spin. And Mo Wagner's going to send it home. This is a action that we run all the time, but usually Duncan's going to throw it to Charles and cut all the way to the basket. He runs a peekaboo cut. They screen him off the front, Nicholas Bear, and now we rescreen him. Duncan's coming off. Charles hits him with a really nice pass entry. Look at that form on that jump shot. Duncan had so many big shots for us in all three of his years from Michigan. None was bigger than this one as far as just getting us ahead in overtime. We went to the national championship game. We almost got knocked out in the first round by a really good Iowa team. Nebraska had beaten us badly at Nebraska earlier this year, the only time that we played. They switch a lot of screens on Mo Wagner. So you can see we have a good lead. Mo goes to Ebby Watson. There's a handoff and a slight screen. And then both players are going to go, and the switch is a little late, which now leaves the backside of Nebraska's coverage has to pick, are you guarding Muhammad Ali or are you guarding Mo Wagner? Leaves Mo wide open, and Xavier can see him all day long. One of the reasons that Nebraska beat us the first time, Bailey, it went to a 1-3-1 defense. We did not execute very well. We came out with a different plan. As you can see, we put two guys down on each block, so their back man had two guys to guard. You get a great snap pass here from Xavier to Charles. Charles share the ball going to Mo. Mo catches the ball, doesn't like the 15-footer, and he's got two people on him, so he finds Muhammad. That's a dagger. This game's over. We had only played Michigan State one time that year, and we're fortunate enough to get a win up in East Lansing. As we come up the floor, they set a little bit of a ball screen, but Mo slips out of there, and Xavier Simpson just drops a dime behind a really good Michigan State defense. He takes Winston in, and now nothing will work there except if he threads the needle with a bounce pass, and he does. Mo's wide open to put it away. Charles comes up the floor here, it's got two NBA players on them right now, Bridges and Tillman. They're coming out with a ball screen. They're going to try to go underneath the screen. John Teske seals up, and Charles was ready for anything they were throwing at him. Championship game Sunday in the Garden. Now it's a huge Michigan presence at the game. We got a good 16-point lead here with six minutes to go. We don't want to go too fast. At the same time, we do have to be aggressive. On the ball screen here, as we set ourselves back up, we want to get Isaac Haas and just get a little bit of room. So Muhammad sets a ball screen on Isaac Haas, doesn't work out so well. Isaac runs him over, but it still gives us enough room for Xavier to attack the basket hard. And John Teske will roll, and this is one of the memorable plays from this season where you have big eyes like Haas in the hole, big John Teske coming down on him. Great dunk in a crowd over a very strong man, and we're up by 18 points in the garden in the Big Ten Championship game. Great feeling for this team to win two straight Big Ten Championships, to do it in New York on the biggest stage. Great season in 2018. Love the Big Ten tournament, being in New York City. One of the special memories I'll have as a coach.